what is going on people it's eliza from my charge back before we get started please don't forget to click a like and subscribe and if you've been the victim of a scam or a hack please click the link in the description below folks i want to tell you a little bit about what actually makes for a successful fund recovery effort okay you see every month thousands of people come to us for help all right, and the number of scams is innumerable, all right? The number of scams is, you know, as many as there are stars in the sky. If a scammer can find a way to make money, he's going to do it, okay? All right, we've seen everything from the huge rug pulls in crypto, the romance scams. I've seen puppy scams, all right? Fake rebates, fake jobs, whatever. The, the list is just, it's so long, it's absurd. All right, it's ridiculous, all right? But at the end of the day, every scam victim that comes to us wants the same thing, right? You want to get your money back. All right, so stop here. So let me explain what we do, all right? What we actually do is we do a combination of complex transaction disputes as well as investigative services primarily blockchain forensics, but there are corporate investigative services and so on and so forth. And we facilitate the entire recovery process. All right, it's not a simple thing where it's like, oh, go fetch. No, we facilitate this process, okay? So there is what makes it successful for us and what we do and what makes for a successful client. All right, the person, you, the scam victim, looking to actually recover that money. So I'll start with us. So on our end, all right, we bring in specialists. We have a company that is comprised of people with a long history of working in banking, of working in finance, of working on the blockchain. All right, and we bring in people who can facilitate these cases. We bring in legal specialists, all right? Lawyers that have international jurisdiction because while sometimes we're surprised and it's not, very often the scammer is abroad. And so you need somebody who is in that area, okay? We bring in specialists and the right set of talent to make everything happen for our clients, right? There are payment processes that more or less dictate what's going to happen. You have a credit card, no problem. Chargeback all day, every day. Some of it gets complex. We help you manage that and we manage that for you. Okay, same thing with bank wires, all right? There are sets of challenges that come with those. Believe you me, nobody has spent more time explaining to bankers how to do their job than us, all right? A lot of bankers have no idea what they can do. So somebody like us has to step in and explain it to them. All right? You have to do things like talking to ombudsmen when bankers absolutely refuse to do their jobs. Again, you need experience to do it. It's not so simple to do on your own. All right? Crypto. All day, every day, wrapped up in the blockchain. All day, every day, on the phone with detectives and police officers in every country you can think of okay i mean i'm we're talking what close to 500 law enforcement agencies all right just all day all right all day conducting blockchain investigations using the most advanced tools to do so okay this is what we do to push this along all day talking to exchanges and trying to explain to them, okay, hey, yeah, the law enforcement officer got the KYC to you, got the KYC out there, you know, is there some money in there? Uh, you know, and it's happened quite a bit lately, actually. Things have been falling in line in a good way, uh, particularly with the crypto exchange OKX, where they are more than happy not only to free scammer accounts, but to take whatever is in those accounts and give it back to our clients. All right, they've been doing a great job with it lately. Um, 
and, and so have others, but I just wanted to mention that one in particular. But what we're doing is making all that happen. And now I want you to understand something. This is not a passive process, whether it's chargebacks, wire recalls, or crypto recovery. All right. This is not a situation where you as a scam victim get to sit on your rear end, give us a couple of statements and documents, and then, uh, you know, like we call you when all of this is done and everything magically reappears in your bank account. That's not how it works. All right. There are steps that you have to take that you have to do in this process. Okay. And this is a big thing for a lot of people because a lot of people get scammed in the first place by thinking they don't have to do anything. All right. This is a big challenge. And really it's your first big challenge because it's not as though you're not going to have to talk to the bank as well. It's not as though you won't have to file a police report, all these other things that you can expect and decisions that you have to make along the way. Sometimes you get offers for a partial amount or you want to keep going and go after a full amount. Sometimes uh, all sorts of other things. All right. I cannot begin to tell you how many challenges come up in each and every case. All right. Some people have the resilience to deal with them and some don't. Those that do when, all right, some of the biggest recoveries can take years. Uh, we're talking the ones that hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars, all right? There's some patience involved, and it's very, very, very difficult, all right? It takes a certain kind of personality on the scam victim's behalf to get through this or, frankly, adjusting to whatever you have to do to make it work. Okay, you have to know what's going to happen when, let's say, the most common challenge that a scam victim will face now, because almost everything is crypto, is talking to the police. All right, this is why we end up having to talk to the police a lot, because oftentimes people will try it on their own, and it doesn't go very well because they have no idea what to tell them. Um, they have to chase them. They have to do all sorts of things, and then we end up having to intervene or tell our client what to do or whatever, set up conferences with these people. All right, this is a common challenge and people become very easily discouraged. All right, obviously it doesn't help that if there's still an active scammer who's telling you, oh, knock it off, that's never gonna work, da, 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 da. Just pay me a bajillion dollars and I'll give it back, all right? These are the sorts of challenges that you have to be ready for. Now, let me tell you something. If you manage them successfully along with us, it's going to work. Okay, you are going to get something, if not everything back without any major surprises. Not an absolute guarantee, all right? I'm never going to absolutely guarantee that this works. Sometimes it just doesn't work. There's no money left in a wallet. There's no money left in an account. Once in a blue moon, you will run into a banker or a law enforcement officer with air between their ears. There are things that go wrong. But by far, what makes it successful is when everybody rides out this process together. And that's mostly you, okay? For us, this is our job, all right? We spend all day doing this, okay? Our head of uh, recovery, Marcus David. This guy on his own has recovered $5 million for clients. All right, as a company, we've done tens of millions over the last seven years. We know what's gonna work. Now, of course, as a scam victim, sometimes it's tough to listen, right? You've had a scammer jerking you around, telling you to do this thing that you had no idea about that thing. And you're just sitting there like, I don't know, you know? Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll. You want to get away. You don't want to be told what to do. And here's somebody who's on your side telling you what to do. And that's tough for some people. Some people want to be in this scenario where you're in the driver's seat, and you are in the driver's seat, to be quite frank, but you have to feel it. All right? And, and it's a difficult challenge. You have to be able to learn to trust again. But at the end of the day, 
We know from our experience what makes it work. All right, and I think that if you're watching this and you've gotten to this point, you say, you know what, I can do this. All right, so what I encourage you to do if you've been the victim of a scam or a hack, God knows hacks are whoa, through the roof. Good golly, Miss Molly. Crypto drainers left and right, rug pulls left and right, and of course, the usual assortment of regular phishing scams. Just anything. Reach out, ask questions, be willing to learn. All right, click the link below in the description. Talk to us. I'm going to leave you there for today. I've been Elijah. We'll see you next time.